standing in his way. A team that not only lost last year's two encounters with Miami, they didn't score a touchdown in either defeat. We're tied at seven in the third, a flea flicker. Marino to Higgs, back to Marino to Duper. 49 yards later, the Dolphins led it 14 to seven. Still in the third, Clarence Verdan. He had had eight previous punt returns for a total of 19 yards, but then he busts this one up the gut and is gone. 84 yards, the longest punt return ever against a Dolphin team, and suddenly we're tied at 14. The Colts would take a three-point lead, but Miami came right back. It's Marino once again finding Tony Martin. He has been spreading the wealth this year. A 78-yard drive capped off by the 13-yard score. It's 20-17. to 17. The extra point, Pete Stoyanovich having a tremendous year, but he misses it, and Shula can't believe it. Jeff George brings his team back. The quarterback keeper and the Colts took a 24-20 lead. Miami came back fourth and goal. Marino. Quick snap to Dan. He looks. He looks. He throws. Oh. Ball batted up in the air. Is. And it's picked off. You know Steve Edmund. Edmund lumbering down the far sideline. He's, he's, he's to the 50. He's to the 40. He is going to score. <laughs> Edmund is going to score. Oh, and the Colts win. No, Number 90 goes 90, weighing 290 pounds. Entman said the ball just stuck into my hand. He said the worst part was I got to the bench. They turned off the oxygen machine. 31 to 20, the final. The Colts did receive some bad news in this game. Linebacker Quentin Coriot will miss at least a month with a fractured wrist. Miami did themselves in five turnovers. It took Entman 13 seconds to travel the 90 yards, but he said it was a blow.